Hey there, we are so happy you found us at Third Times a Farm. Would you just look at this pile? This is most of the junk we found at stores, yard sales, and antique shops the past couple of weeks. Stick around to find out what all we found, how it was styled, or what our plans for it might be. First is this antique folding pocket ruler. I did pay $7 for it, but I think it's well worth it. I'm really enjoying it styled with this vintage style picture. This green handled jar and bottle opener. You twist the handle and it'll tighten on the lid so you can pop it off. Ah, this thing. We don't know for sure what it is. I think it's a kite string winder. My husband says it's for winding yarn and our son thinks it's for pulling taffy. If you truly know what this is, leave your two cents down below. Now, this little cutie pie was found at Jonas Attic for a dollar. Okay, it has handles on it. What more could I ask for? This candy dish just has the cutest pattern. Here I'm just going to tighten up the handle a bit. I completely removed it off the plate. Tightened up the loose ends and added some hot glue. Push the wire back down through the holes. and use the wire cutters to twist them together underneath. Cutting off the excess. The next few things are from St. Vincent de Paul. Speed up funnel for 20 cents. I have bigger plans for it closer to Christmas. Look how pretty this carved wooden plate is. 
I paid 35 cents. You can hang it on the wall. I have future plans for this hand drill that I paid a dollar for. This concrete edge rounder has plans for the future as well. Look at all that age. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me know what ideas Yins have for this. These next things are from a yard sale that I went to. This was free, I suppose, because it was missing the spout. I paid a quarter. It's green and cream colored. This basket, I just thought the shape was unique. I paid a quarter for it as well. Here it is, styled with some books, and this is where I like to keep it under this table on this trestle portion. Now this picnic basket I splurged. It was two dollars at the same garage sale. Her prices were absolutely amazing. When I learned about it while I was at a different garage sale, overheard people talking about it, and I had to head over there. Just going to do some minor repairs, cut off some of the parts that are hanging off. And then a little dab of hot glue here and there. And there's this little sweetheart. Same garage sale, free pile. Now this free pile was the biggest free pile I've ever seen at a sale. Yes, this is rusted. Yes, the paint is chipping badly. And yes, I have a plan for it. It is likely to go in our downstairs bathroom once completed. Love that knob. This pile is Goodwill. 99 cents for this little basket. I think it would look cute hanging on a wall. If you know, you know. Can't really beat a dollar forty-nine. There was a sneak peek of this little spice rack in a previous video. Leave a comment if you know which video it was. See how observant you are. Of course you could use it to hold spices, but look how cute it is as a propagation station. 
This set of three nesting tables was only $10 at Goodwill. This one's pretty sturdy. The middle one's a little less sturdy and needs tightened up. And the largest one, a little wobbly with some wear on the top. I don't have any major plans for these just yet, but 10 bucks, I was grabbing them. This is my new favorite mug, and I paid 50 cents at a garage sale. I enjoyed the blues and the browns. This little scoop looks hand painted. Spent a quarter on it at the same garage sale. All these smaller little bits and bobs will be displayed together at the end. I found the shape of this basket to be unique. $2 for that at a garage sale. Quick fix. Cut off the, this is my kitchen hang tag. Pop in some olive branches or other greenery. set. Good to go. I bought this antique drying rack for $10 at a yard sale. It folds down out of the way when it's not in use. You lift this up and it locks into place. Originally the lady thought it was broken because it wasn't staying up, but the back just ended up being on backwards. And then these spread out, and that's where you hang the clothes. These following three rugs were from the same garage sale. I plan to make a few throw pillows out of them. I actually like the backs a little more than the fronts, because the colors are somewhat more muted. If you've tackled making pillows out of rugs like these, let me know if you have any helpful hints. Now this last place is kind of where it all started. It was a sign that I saw at the beginning of the week that said, huge, huge barn sale. I said, yes, yes, please. This broom, 10 cents. Oh, and that door is a sneak peek to a future project. And then these ladder back chairs, they're dirty and they're gonna get scrubbed. Four of them for a dollar. I'm not really sure if they're gonna work for the table that I have. So I might clean them up and sell them. And then this chair I got just for the spindles and it was a dollar. Here I'm styling all those little trinkets and doodads that I collected throughout the week on this mug rack. Here I added a couple of those curtain clips so that I could hang things 
that I wouldn't otherwise be able to on these pegs. Thank you so much for watching. 